Hi there. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and enjoy. Aha, there you are. Good to see you. Your appointment with Sangonomiya is fast approaching. We should get going. But why? Ready? And away we go. Help me! Well, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. Ah! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh! Huh. Here we are. The training grounds for Watatsumi Island's troops. I'll be staying here for now. If you need me for anything, just come here. If I'm not around, just write a note and stick it on the wall. Bruh. As soon as I see it, I'll come find you. So, Sanganomiya is the name of the place where Sanganomiya Kokomi lives? Huh. Take heart. We have a fresh batch of supplies in hand, and I'm working on expanding the army. Whoever this mystery supporter is, they're doing us a great service. Wait, so are you the new recruit everyone's been talking about? Strength of 20 men splits an arrow in twain from a hundred paces. Skin as hard as diamond. That's you? Yes. Are you still willing to fight with us? Good. Then here is your assignment. I hereby appoint you as captain of the Watatsumi Island Special Operations Unit. Swordfish 2. Damn! I want to make a contribution to the Resistance too. Of course. I'll arrange something and brief you shortly. All right! Ah, you must be the new captain of Swordfish 2. I'll be straight with you. Ha! Gay! I want to know whether you have what it takes to lead us. Oh no! <laughs> okay, seems like you can hold your own. Too soon for another promotion, I think. I gave him an assignment. He's taking part in a surprise attack against the Shogun's Navy. He expressed a desire to be on the front line. So I honored his wishes. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Is Tepe really gonna be okay? Nope. Long time no see. So, how's Swordfish 2 treating you? Thanks to my outstanding achievements in the recent naval battle, I have officially been made the captain of my very own special operations unit. <laughs> it's a brand new unit, Herring 1. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? I spoke to Her Excellency and she says our uniforms are in production. Let's go collect them together once they're ready. Oh, I can't wait to put them on. We're really gonna look the part. Ah, <laughs> everything's going great. Our mystery sponsor supplies have really helped turn things around. Yay! Will Paimon get a uniform too? Of course. You're a recognized member of the Watatsumi Island Resistance. Aww. Yippee! Five minutes later. <coughs> wow, this is a surprise. Are you alright there, buddy? You're looking slightly the worse for wear. I'm fine. It's nothing. We're not that far away from Horobashi's remains. Horobashi? Who's that? A god. Look, there's the corpse over there. Holy shit! The Raiden Shogun came out in person and slew Horobashi with the Muso no Hitotachi. That same slash also formed what later became known as Musojin Gorge. The Raiden Shogun created Musojin Gorge in one slash? Wow, that's pretty incredible! Nah, it's probably nothing. Kokomi, Goro, uh, what's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. God damn it! Goro. Have you managed to acquire one of these weapons? Well, most of the officers refused to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Do you know something about this? Oh, shit! All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. Fuck you! Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with... No! Surely he can't have... Uh, let's go check on him. Tepe! Oh, <coughs> hey guys, what are you doing here? Well, I made a lot of great contributions to the war effort lately. Fighting 
the Shogun's army at sea, taking on Shogunate Samurai all by myself, rescuing my comrades from, from an ambush. Things I never would have dreamed I could do when you first met me. If only I were stronger still. They gave it to me and said that as long as I have the will to become stronger, his secret weapon will answer my call. <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, I've i never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. So, what's the difference between a, a delusion and a vision? Well, I suppose it's not too surprising that a mysterious weapon of unknown origins would come with its risks. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> Guess I didn't receive the favor of the gods after all. Hey, would, would you do something for me? When our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here <coughs> and we can change together. What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be right as rain. Right as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've rested up. What are your thoughts? No, it's too dangerous. Bischoff! Please, be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you, too. Huh? You mean, to the Delusion Factory? Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Uh, fine. Here's Johnny! Don't be a Order guide you! Blazing to light! Open sesame! You actually managed to find this place. Congratulations. Ha! <laughs> Barely two words in. And you already look like you want me dead. Try me, bitch! I know how this looks, but I'm just here to follow orders. You're getting all worked up over nothing. <laughs> You've changed. You're getting weak. How can you say this is nothing? How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. They were always going to die. So, the Fatui started the vision hunt decree? You've been behind it all along? You little shit! Take your friend in the resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. Hey, calm down! Oh, uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the fuck is this bullshit? Let's uh, uh, fucking hurt! Uh, <laughs> That's it. Just like that. Embrace the anger. Embrace it! The wrath of the gods fills this factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Get up! Really, nigga? Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Excuse me, what? Okay, that's positive. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. Bitch! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off our backs! What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? Nope! You've... Met her, right? I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? Yes. 
the true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Her name is A. Okay. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. You mean, Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. It seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? Anti Raiden Shogun training. Gather! Here we go! <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. No. Nope. What a workout. So how come you know so much about the Raiden Shogun? Hmm? You mean me? What? Hmm, perhaps it's because I'm the Electro Archon's servant. What? What? Like Devalin is to Barbados? Well, shit. It sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form. Hmm? In your dreams. Huh. Time for anti Raiden Shogun training phase two. There's a part two? This is order. So, do you think we're ready to beat the Raiden Shogun now? How do I put this? You're no match for her at all. Bruh. It's all too clear that both the Tenryo and Kanjo commissions are in some form of collusion with the Fatui. So my plan is to incite rebellion in the Tenryo commission. I mean, inciting a certain someone to betray the Tenryo commission. If we manage to convince her, I'm quite sure we'll be able to get you another audience with the Raiden Shogun. I'll give you a clue. She's currently in charge of the Shogun's army, she visits the shrine at this time every month, and she is our guest today. She also appears to be standing right behind you. Surprise, motherfucker! You're saying the Kujo clan... betrayed the Shogunate? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Come back here in three days, and I will show you the evidence. I'll be here. But if I don't see any evidence, I will demand a formal apology for slandering the Kujo clan. Wonderful. Then I'll see you in three days. I look forward to it very much. Miko, you mentioned evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Is that all in hand and good to go, or...? Why are you always asking so many questions? Of course not. <sighs> not entirely unexpected. Ah! That toy Tanuki just turned into a human! Mm, not a Tanuki. I'm a Muchina. Okay. Uh, she doesn't look very professional at all. <laughs> she is a member of the Shiumatsuban, a genuine, bona fide ninja. Don't forget, we're on a tight schedule here. Be sure to bring back the evidence in good time. Did you meet with the Resistance? How's the battle going? Is it safe for me to come out yet? You need evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Let me think. Uh, Yoimi is fireworks! That's a very Toma-sounding suggestion. The statue of the Omnipresent God is right by the Tenryo Commission. If someone set off fireworks near the statue, they certainly wouldn't ignore it. While they were preoccupied with that, Sayu could infiltrate the Tenryo Commission and take the report, as well as any other evidence she might find. Great! It feels like I'm getting closer and closer to being a free man again. This was a reunion of sorts, but there's no time to catch up. We'll celebrate properly when it's all over. Ooh, let's play the hot pot game again. Bruh. What kind of firework is this? By the look of it, Paimon's ears are gonna get blown off. Wow! No! Oh, Yoimiya, you are officially nuts. Uh-oh, they're all coming this way. Quick, run! <sighs> I'm dying. 
<sighs> Help me. I know exercise helps you grow, but this was a little too much exercise. Here you go. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. Really, nigga? Lady Guji, here I am, as promised. I'm sure you've barely been able to take your mind off it these past few days. Have you managed to get any sleep at all? I... I... So, where is your proof? Ah, how wonderful. Everyone's keeping their promises today. I don't understand. Not a single word about the Resistance, Sangonomia, or the situation on the front line. The things you wanted to see, but also wished not to see, are here before you. Surely. You aren't planning to turn a blind eye to them? This betrayal is unforgivable! Kujosara seems pretty angry, huh? Yep, yep! Let's catch up with her! Hold on, Traveler. Take this with you as a farewell gift. What is it? If you find yourself at your wit's end, take it out and see what happens. Maybe your prayers will be answered and all your problems will disappear in the blink of an eye. Or if you ever think about me during your journey, take it out, won't you? Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up appearing right in front of you. Cut it out, Fox Lady! <clears throat> Stop! Sara, have you gone insane? Master Takayuki, I've seen the report to the throne and the letter to the Fatui. Please, tell me why! Yes, I have dealings with the Fatui, and yes, the report you saw was penned by my hand. Well, shit. Uh, he just came right out and admitted it! How can you betray her after all this time and act like it's nothing? Betrayal? How can you call this a betrayal? The Fatui may think they are using me, but the reverse is true. What could they possibly hope to achieve? When the lightning strikes in Inazuma, they shall fall to their knees and tremble! Paralyzed by fear and trepidation. You're fucking idiot. After all, none can contend with the supreme power of the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Muso no Hitotachi! Are you sure about that? Yeah! He doesn't worship the Raiden Shogun herself, but her power is a warrior! The Shogun is at Tenshukaku receiving a Shnezhnayan diplomat. A harbinger by the name of Signora. OH SHIT! OH SHIT! Oh. The way people charge in here as they please. So uncivilized. Oh no! What has she done to Kujasara? YOU ARE DEAD! I know, I know. You can't get me out of your mind. So you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She doesn't take us seriously at all! Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. They're just necessary sacrifices. That's all. You? Stop me? <laughs> For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. I'm not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. Try me, bitch. I challenge you. To a duel before the throne! <sighs> ah, peace. Proceed. My, you're full of surprises today. So you've learned to make the law of the land work for you too, hmm? You are aware that the loser must die. Till death do us part! A lesson on harbinger power and elegance? <laughs> As you wish. Solidify! I will have order! Uh, uh, you've got some nerve laying your hands on me! <laughs> uh. 
Oh shit. Here we go again. Hail flame, lay waste to frozen shell and witness my suffering. <laughs> In fires of sin and retribution, your soul will be incinerated! <laughs> Order guide you. So strong, but but how? I am a Snizhnayan diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure... The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma... Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! Be gone, suck! You are the enemy of eternity. <laughs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. Uh, the Raiden Shogun isn't gonna let us off just like that, right? Oh, the air feels suffocating. It must be the right in Chogun's almightiness! I did it! I saved the world! One strike from the Shogun and now Senor is gone! She got what she deserved, but Paimon still can't help but feel upset! Are you sure about that? Nah, jit tripping. Chin up. Let's get out of this place. Uh, Paimon feels unsettled. Also, when the Shogun executed Signora with the Muso no Hitotachi, it was unbelievably powerful. Nah, it's probably nothing. It seems impossible to defend against. And if so, we've got no hope whatsoever of defeating her in combat. <laughs> I'm in danger. Well, I've done all I can do. So, to recap, Yaimiko wants us to go back inside the plane of Githymia by the statue of the omnipresent god. I give up, that's it. talking about man Sounds like there's a lot of noise coming from outside Ten Shikaku. Has a fight broken out or something? Oh, the guards seem really nervous. Well, let's go see what the situation is, shall we?
What? There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Holy shit! my curiosity what is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me oh <laughs> surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this consider this no one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away anyway you're looking for a chance to shake my will are Hmm. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. You wish to become the enemy of eternity, Traveler. Why are you running? Why are you running? Dear me, aren't you cutting it rather close? Hmm? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions. Which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. We can abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. Because you, my precious little bitch boy, Sir? are tripping balls! <laughs> Lost, eh? <sighs> yes, I have. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. Why the fuck you lying? When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And 
yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream, for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. Well, that was a load of shit. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. But eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? <laughs> for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? So it can only mean that you are happy to see me again. Bruh. Have nothing to say to that. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. Wow! So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway, now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true for all eternity. Why, hello, if it isn't the triumphant traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you here! Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. <sighs> They caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? No! God, please, no! As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece. Yep, that's the one. You've seen one too? Oh. 
What's wrong? I handed that over. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer exactly? Fuck you! The Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he is superior to Signora. Byron just does not know what to say! After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. Fuck you! What would you like to know about? The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Baal and Beelzebul. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Baal's name was Makoto. That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Before A began modifying her own godly form, she took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness, until the Fatui took an interest in him. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis, and the prototype puppet is now known as the Balladeer. What in the... What a crazy story! Sorry, I haven't a clue. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. After leaving Inazuma, hmm... I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. In Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Are you sure? Okay then. Oh, Traveler. Do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Keep it safe. Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. Who in their right mind would do that? Hey guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video click on another one here and check out more cool stuff in the top right corner. See you next time. Bye.